Hi, uh, my name is uh, Anurag Thaledi. I'm a software developer with National Instruments. And for 2014, we have uh, we have this capability to run vision algorithms on an FPGA. So what we have what we have here is uh, is a demo where we're trying to control the speed of the disk by taking snapshots of the LED that is on top of it. So what we do is that we take two successive snapshots as a trigger behind, and then we measure the X and Y coordinates of that LED by using vision processing algorithms. And then we have a simple PID controller that's trying to control the, uh, the speed of the uh, stepper motor that's underneath it. So the unique thing is that uh, all the, uh, the vision algorithms as well as the motion control, all of them are happening on the FPGA. And this is the new, uh, new feature in, uh, in Vision Assistant 2014. So uh, we could take a quick look at how uh, you could develop uh, the algorithms on the FPGA, uh, how Vision Assistant makes it easy for you to come up with a, a startup project where all the FIFOs and all the uh, pushing images out of the FPGA and getting back uh, from the FPGA are all set up very cleanly for you. So uh, for that, let's open up uh, Vision Assistant. So I'm just going to open a clean copy of it. So earlier, uh, you could select like uh, lab view or you know or, or a different project but now you'll be able to select the FPGAs that are uh, that are listed under all the CEOs so let's go and select 9068 because that's what uh, that's over there as part of the demo and uh, let's acquire a couple of sample images so that we can uh, we can start uh, pushing uh, algorithms uh, to detect things. So it's, it has a USB camera connected to it, so that's what I'm going to select here. And then I'm going to provide the IP address for the target, and it automatically enumerates uh, whatever cameras are connected to it. So I'm going to grab an image from it. Uh, so what, what you can see over here in Vision Assistant is, uh, is a list of algorithms that are available for 2014 to be able to run on the FPGA. It's not as big as the feature set that you saw on processor. We are we're adding more algorithms as you speak. So for this case, uh, let's go and uh, add the algorithms that, uh, that we need to detect the uh, X and Y coordinates of that uh, LED. So what I'm going to do is uh, add a threshold to it that basically gets the blob that represents the LED. And then from there on, I'm going to go and uh, convert it into a 16-bit image. And then I'm going to add a centroid algorithm to it uh, that will give us the position of the centroid of the blob that we saw there. So as you can see, you can, it basically figures out the center of this whole block. And uh, while you're doing all of that, uh, it also tells you uh, how much of the FPGA that you're going to occupy by running these algorithms. It's a, it's a real-time feedback uh, that you get, and uh, you get to know whether whatever algorithms that you've put in fit on, the, fit on your FPGA that you've selected or not. And this change is based on the... Uh, based on the FPGA that you selected in the beginning. So you, you always know whether you'll be able to do it or not. So once you're, once you're done with all your algorithm setup and all, uh, we make it real easy using Vision Assistant to, uh, to develop or to, to create all the FPGA code for it. So all you have to do is just go click the FPGA code and then you can see that uh, it will create the project for you, the host VI as well as the FPGA VI. The host VI is basically acquiring the image and then uh, pushing uh, those images onto FPGA using the DMA FIFOs. And then the FPGA VI is the one that uh, grabs images of those FIFOs and then uh, tries to uh, apply all the algorithms that we've set up to. VI is virtual instrument. VI yeah, is like the yeah the uh, the file uh, the LabVIEW file that you have. Uh, that's what that's the programming language that NI develops. So let's go click finish. It takes a it takes about five to six seconds to come up uh, to script the whole project for you. So it creates the project, uh, it creates the target, and then adds it to your project. It creates all the GMA FIFOs as well as the VIs. The only thing you would have to do is compile it, obviously, because it's an FPGA VI. So let's dig a little more deep into it. Uh, this is the host VI that's running on the processor. Uh, I'll show the block diagram so that you can get an idea about what it's doing. 
so this is the part that sets up the camera and basically grabs the images from the camera and then it pushes those images onto the FPGA so that it can do processing on it. This is another loop where it uh, gets back the processed images from the FPGAs so that you can display it on a screen or you know, uh, a monitor that's connected to a target. Let's also look into the FPGA VIs that it has set up for us. Here you can see that it has set up the FIFOs for you so that uh, the images can be pushed in and uh, can be pushed out. Uh, this is the top level FPGA VI. And as you can see, uh, you know, it basically grabs an image out of the FIFO, processes it using this VI, and then pushes it back into the destination image FIFO. And if we go inside the processing VI, you'll see that uh, it set up all these uh, all these algorithm VIs that we added uh, in Vision Assistant. So this is the threshold VI that we added. After that, we did a cast, and then we got the centroid for that. So especially like the tool is great, uh, you know, when it comes to like uh, setting setting you up with the whole thing, and then you know making sure that uh, you're acquiring images properly and pushing images in a proper way between the FPGA and the real time. And then you have Vision Assistant that allows you to add more and more algorithms to it, and uh, you can also tweak it because what is what it has generated for you is just lab viewport, so it's all editable, and then you can grab things out of a palette and then add to it. So. We try to make it as easy as possible for people to, to be able to use FPGA in their projects because what it now means is that uh, you, can, you can leverage both the processor and the FPGA for doing vision algorithms. You can do pre-processing on the FPGA, you can do parallel processing on both of these. Or even if you're doing something on the processor which you'd not do on an FPGA, you'll be able to, the processor is free so you can do other things. So those are all the advantages that, uh, that you get by, by having two things work for you. Which FPGAs does this support? Uh, it supports uh, FPGAs on existing 9068s as well as the FPGAs that are there on our previous uh, serial products, compact serial products. And those are Xilinx uh, FPGAs? Uh, the, the latest ones are all Xilinx. I don't know if we used different ones before, but uh, the ones that are currently out there are Xilinx. Great. Thank you very much for the demo. You're welcome.